these slides, this website, and this dashboard, and this podcast were all built by AI agent inside one app, not four tools, one. Now, if you're still only using ChatGPT or bouncing between PowerPoint, Canva, Sheets, Notion, Figma, and a dozen tabs, it's definitely time to level up. This video is in paid partnership with GenSpark, a new all-in-one AI workspace, and I'm going to show you how I'm using it to plan and run my whole 2026. What is GenSpark? There is a tiny team in Silicon Valley, roughly 30 people, that reached unicorn status in about six months by doing one thing, building AI agents that don't just chat, they actually finish work for you. They called it GenSpark. Think of it as the first AI agent unicorn that's launching the next generation of only one AI workspace. The idea is simple. Instead of paying for and juggling a bunch of different AI and productivity tools, you have one workspace that handles AI chat, slides and docs, sheets and data, design and branding, coding and websites, email and team collaboration, even turning PDFs into podcasts you can listen to. So under the hood, it's not just one model. GenSpark orchestrates multiple leading AI models and tools so you can get finished work, presentation websites, grab assets, dashboards, not just raw text. For freelancers, small business owners, creators, students, and teams, it's basically like hiring a little digital team for the price of a single subscription. In this video, I'm going to pretend I'm a one-person business planning 2026. We are going to build a 2026 strategy deck, a revenue plus content planning dashboard, and a personal podcast that reads and summarizes long PDF for me. And I'll show you the exact prompts so you can copy them into GS Bar. The problem, one replaces 10. Now first, why is something like this even necessary? Now, right now, most knowledge workers are juggling a chat AI, a slide tool, spreadsheets, notes, apps, design tools, and maybe a project management tool on top. Now, that's separate logins, separate payments, and almost none of it talks to each other. GenSpark positioning is one replaces 10. Now, instead of multiple subscriptions for ChatGPT, Cloud, Gemini, Canva, Figma, and more, you get one freemium workspace with paid plans starting at around $19.99 per month that gives you access to the top models and all the tools in a single place. So instead of exporting, repasting, and downloading, you just keep asking the AI to continue from research to slides to data to design all inside GenSpark. Now let me show you what that looks like with real cases. Case 31 is my 2026 strategy deck. I open GenSpark, choose AI slides, and treat it like a slide designer on my team. I paste in a few notes about my business, then I use this prompt. You are my presentation designer for one person online business that sells courses, right? And content. Uh, create a 15 slide 2026 strategy deck Audience potential partners and sponsors include section for number one, my audience and problem, number two, current traction and key metrics, number three, 2026 content roadmap, number four, product and offer lineup, number five, revenue projections by quarter, number six, marketing channels and experiments, number seven, risk and next steps. Now, use bold, minimal design, large fonts, and space for visual on every slot. In a few minutes, it builds the full deck structure. Design the slides and I can click into any slide and edit it with natural language. Now, if a slide feels too generic, I can say the follow. Rewrite slide free in my voice, more conversational. Keep the data, add one bold promise for 2026. GenSpark regenerates that slide without me touching layouts or fonts. How cool is that? And a pro tip, uh, inside GenSpark, 
I like to ask for multiple options every time, right? So free versions of a slide, free thumbnail ideas, free layouts, then pick one I like and refine that one with specific prompts. Now that's already better than typical chat somewhere, then copy paste into PowerPoint workflow because the AI is designing the actual slides, not just dumping bullet points, right? Case study number two is AI Sheets 2.0. This feels like Excel with an analyst living inside it. Now, I start a new AI sheet and tell it exactly what I want my 2026 dashboard to look like, right? So, I type the following. You are my financial analyst. Create a spreadsheet to plan my 2026 content and revenue. Tabs, number one, content calendar by week with platform, topic, format, and status. Number two, Revenue tracker by month with product, price units sold, total revenue. Number three, expenses such as tools, freelancers, and ads. Number four, summary dashboard with monthly profit, profit margin, and free key charts. Add a realistic sample data so I can see how it works. Use formulas instead of hard coded numbers. Genspoke builds out the tabs fills in example data, wires up formulas, and suggests charts. If I don't like the layout, I can say, move the profit chart above the table, and I can add a forecast line for the next six months, right? And the AI rearranges it, because this is still inside the same GenSpark project. Now, I can reference my strategy deck, so I might say the following. Use the growth targets from my 2026 strategy slides in this project to update the revenue projection tab. Now my slides, my numbers, and my content calendars are all synced in one workspace and the AI understands the, the context across them. Case study number three is for anyone with a folder full of PDFs you never actually read, right? Uh, Genspark has AI pods which can turn long documents into audio-friendly script. Basically, a mini podcast you can listen to instead of reading. Imagine I have 60-page industry report I really should read before 2026, right? I upload the PDF, open AI pods, and use this prompt. It's super simple, guys. So I will say the following. Turn this PDF into a 20-minute podcast script I can listen to while commuting. Structure it in a free chapters Number one, key trend and numbers I must know. Number two, opportunities and threats for a solo creator, small business. Number three, five concrete action items I should take in 2026, right? So use a friendly non-robotic tone and add short transitions between segments. Now, a few moments later, as you can see, I get a full script I can either listen to inside Genspot or record it in my own voice. Now, instead of Parking that report on my desktop. I've turned it into something I'll actually consume and I can ask follow-up questions in the same workspace. So the workflow become research, podcast, slides, spreadsheet, all chained together in one place. How cool is that? I'm really amazed to what it has become and what we can achieve with Genspark. Lightning Tour design websites Teams and in a box. Now, we don't have time to deep dive everything, but I want to quickly show a few more things Genspark can do. Number one, AI designer. Here, you can create full brand assets. We're talking about logos, YouTube thumbnails, packaging, social posts from a single prompt, right? You can refine them with text, with references, images, or even handwritten sketches. Here's a prompt for the AI designer. Design a complete visual identity for a modern playful education brand called BMF Me, right? Uh, I need a logo, I need thumbnail style, and Instagram post template, and a simple packaging concept, right? So use a bright but not childish palette, clean typography, and layouts that work well on both desktop and mobile. You can then upload screenshots or sketches so Genspark can match or improve your existing style. 
I really like this feature. Second, AI developer. This is where you can fix ugly websites. You can paste in a URL and have Genspark completely redesign it into a model landing page or even build a simple app or management system in around a minute, <laughs> right? Imagine a management system in just 60 seconds. I mean, it's crazy. So we're gonna use this prompt. Uh, redesign this website to look like a clean 2025 SaaS landing page. Uh, keep the brand colors and logo, but improve spacing, typography, and the hero section. Focus the page on one clear call to action. Third, Teams and AI Inbox. Now, Genspark isn't just solo. Teams can work together in share projects, in slides, in sheets, in docs, design, even video editing. All of this while chatting with AI and co-editing in real time. That's crazy. Now, there's also an AI Inbox so you can manage email with natural language, with text or even real-time voice and have agents run scheduled tasks automatically. So whether you are a freelancer delivering client work or a founder running a small team or a student juggling assignments, you can have everyone inside the same Genspark project while AI handles a lot of the heavy lifting. So how do you actually try this yourself? Now Genspark is available on the web with apps and macOS AI browser and runs on a freemium model. You can sign up and get free credits to test things before you pay. I like this. Now here's the cool part for 2026, right? So if you upgrade to a paid plan, Genspark is offering unlimited usage of their AI chat and AI image features for the entire year. <laughs> you will have access to top tier models inside those tools. That means unlimited chatting with powerful language models and unlimited image generation for your brand content or side projects, right? Without watching a token method. If you want to try the exact cases from this video, the strategy deck, uh, the revenue content dashboard and the PDF podcast flow, I've put all of the prompts down in the description plus a link to Genspark for you to register, right? Uh, so please use that link to sign up, grab your free credits, and start building your own 2026 setup. Uh, whether that's a business, a side hustle, or your school projects, and if you create something wild with it, uh, like a new website, and you really like it uh, for your brand, a dashboard, tag me and tag as well, uh, Genspark and the line AI, so I can check it out. Now, thanks again to Genspark for supporting the channel. Thank you guys. And I hope this helps you work like a team of 10 in 2026, without 10 different subscription, of course. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a comment and a like. I really appreciate it. This also helps getting the video and recommend it. And as usual, see you guys on my next AI recommendation. Bye-bye.